Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch, and you might remember a while ago that I did a kind of salty witch sort of review on the Cowboy Bebop trailer, and um, I watched the live action, and I asked you guys if you want to see me uh, kind of review it, and you said sort of yes, and I'm going to sort of kind of give you an idea that it was bad, I didn't like it, and I don't recommend you watching it. Uh, ultimately, the story, if you don't compare it to the anime, is kind of bland, a little confusing, and treats you like a fucking idiot and a sexual at the same time. I don't understand it. They try to treat you like adults by giving you adult themes and content, but then they also uh, treat you like a fucking idiot by having to constantly repeat the same things over and over and over again in case you fucking forgot that what happened just like, like 10 minutes ago. That being said, um, if you're comparing it as an anime adaptation, it's not good at all. The characters have changed. Spike's kind of annoying. Jet won't shut the fuck up about a daughter he never had in the anime. And Faye is now a... Well, she used to be a badass femme fatale, and now she is a bitchy lesbian, and... Yep. We also have Vicious. Vicious used to be a kind of steely, cold, uh, methodical guy who was close with Spike and had a lot of respect for him, but unfortunately had to make the hard decision to kill him because he was trying to leave an organization in which that is death if you leave. Um, in this one, kind of the same thing, except now he is a weeb with a bad wig and he says weird Japanese words. Mushy, mushy. That don't really make sense for the context. He runs around with a goddamn samurai sword and he oversees the manufacturing of Red Eye. The series likes to show you a lot of lewd imagery, such as uh, women's tits, more women's tits, people having sex, dominatrix, smacking men, making them bark, stuffed animals in BDSM gear, and uh, yeah, overall, I did not need to know uh, about Faye's orgasm, uh, nor did I need to see that she had sex with someone that she met less than an hour prior because apparently she is uh, a loose lesbian. <laughs> Overall, I didn't enjoy it. Uh, there were very few jokes that actually stuck. The visuals were all right at first. They're not bad. It's kind of pretty. It does have this this sound stage feel. It's not as pretty as the anime though. In the anime everything was very bright and colorful and even though you're showing various lengths, they used vibrant colors and, and didn't make it feel like post-apocalyptic grimy shit, which they sort of did here, although they were using some CG in order to make the backgrounds um, kind of have more oomph to it, if you will. Overall, the cities felt very unpopulated. Everything did feel like a soundstage, and it would have been nice if they used some of that CG to kind of expand it on the background. More people made it look, made it feel more lived in instead of so empty. Um, but yeah, I didn't think it was very good. Also, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I did watch the after credit scene with Ed, and oh my god, is that annoying as little shit. Bye! <laughs> Spike Spiegel! Cowboy! Bounty hunter for hire! Wait up! I have a job for you! Uh, no thank you. I do not want a sequel. I do not want that in my sequel. Um, yeah. So, uh, as far as this, I would say go fuck it. Uh, it can go fuck itself. It's terrible. Don't watch it if you don't want to have a fucking aneurysm, go watch the original. That's also on Netflix, and that is a much better watch. It doesn't treat you like a fucking idiot. It treats things like an adult. It still has jokes in there, which... It doesn't feel like it really needs to spell them out for you. It's funny, it's smart, and even though it's kind of episodic, it is still fairly coherent as a whole. Um, yep, so that's my really quick fucking review of the Cowboy Bebop live action adaptation by Netflix. Anyways, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Uh, please give it a like if you want to see more content from me. Let me know down below if you watched this and what your thought on it was, and bye!